Hello and welcome to Prime Sports with me, Razak Musbao, and let's start off with the national long jam record holder, Deborah Aqua, who has qualified for the 2023 World Athletic Championships to be held in Budapest. Aqua's bronze medal winning jump of 6.94 meters at the Commonwealth Games held in Birmingham last year was enough based on the official entry standards by the World Athletics. She described this very feat as a great relief and will enable her to now focus on getting ready for the championship. She's been speaking exclusively to Joy Sports, uh, George Addo Jr. Did it come to you as a surprise anyway? Um, so, before, so after the Commonwealth Games, I was made to understand that this might be it for next, uh, for this season too. So it wasn't really a surprise. It wasn't really a surprise, but then um, after the after coming World Games, I never heard anything about that anymore. So I was just here until I logged into Twitter, and then I saw you post, and I was like, "Yeah, so that's so true." So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the celebration was 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 minimal because no, for real. yeah. But, but what, what was there any relief? Like qualification is, you know, normally mm -hmm. no, no, no matter really. how no matter how great you are, you still want to get to qualify. So once that quality, yeah. when you know you're qualified, how was was what was the relief like? Okay, so uh, in terms of like knowing, yeah, that knowing that it actually had been announced, yeah. All right, so um, like I said, I was kind of having a little problem with my like you know yeah. immigration stuff, and, yeah, and then I got to um to sort all that out. And before that, I was kind of like off training, like I was I was on and off because it was between knowing if I'll be able to travel or I'll just be here, like not knowing when I'll be good, you know, when I'll be able to solve this immigration stuff that I'm talking about. Yeah. So I was kind of on and off training because if if I'm not able to sort that out, then what am I training for, you know? So yeah, I was kind of on and off. So even my first competition, it wasn't that was the jump wasn't really what I was expecting though. But it kind of it happened. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And how does that how does that then shape the rest of um you know the season for you? Because now, and um, what most athletes will be doing is trying to qualify for the big competition, which is happening in August. Now you have already qualified. I know you've got a pretty tight schedule, but mentally how are you approaching all of these it's um it's kind of it's it's a relief because i don't know how how this whole thing is gonna you know bother me for and yeah. how it's gonna prevent me from maybe doing the best that i supposed to be doing so it's really a relief that i've already qualified so what i have to do is you know just maintain my strength and get in a good shape well the rapper joins ghana's men's four by hundred meter relay team who made the competition or the performance at the last championship in Oregon, USA. Meanwhile, president of the Sports Writers Association of Ghana, Kwebene Yabua, has been advocating a development program to help athletes prepare adequately for competitions. And he's been speaking at the association's award ceremony where he called on government to expedite work for the All-Africa Games and ensure the provision of quality infrastructure. This year, Ghana is scheduled to host the Africa Games. Seven months to the shuttle start, our infrastructure is far from ready. More worryingly, our federations are not doing much in terms of preparation as most of them lack the needed funding. In fact, we're running out of time and unless the African Union acquiesces to our request for the postponement of Africa's premier multi-sport competition, we may confront a national disgrace. The time for the government to act is now. In the year under review, Ghana participated in the 22nd Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, the United Kingdom. We managed the paltry two silver medals and three medals, bronze. Us at SWAG, we convinced Ghana could have done better if a little more attention was devoted to the so-called letter known sports. The practice often has been to promise our athletes luscious bonuses and incentives few days before such events. This we find rather inappropriate and duplicitous. A more appropriate part would be to develop, in the medium term, a four-year development program that ensures our athletes are given more competitions, more qualifiers, sound health care, dieting, and more modern equipment for their training and competitions. His Royal Tennis Course, Sports halls, and Boxing Gyms barely meet acceptable international standards. Our athletes continue to train under inhumane conditions. 
As the African Games or Olympic Games stay us in the next few months, we have no option but to upgrade our facilities to our appreciable standards. Well, away from that, yesterday Southampton announced the signing of Black Stars winger Kamal Din Suleiman from Stade Rene on the transfer deadline day. The 20-year-old signed a four-and-a-half-year deal that will keep him at the South Coast Club until 2027. Well, his former coach, Didi Dramani, he says he's confident the attacker will excel in the English Premier League. I think that Kamal Din has a social intelligence, and, and which is a, is a value. Uh, from uh, uh, his upbringing in uh, Right to Dream, is a strong value. His uh, his uh, self discipline in terms of uh, what what he has to do on and off the pitch, uh, as I said. But he's very self expressive in terms of his thoughts. But he's very very detailed in terms of his convictions. You know, you need to to really convince him and then win his trust, and then and then he dies with you, and 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 and. He says it as he sees it, and then he's easily well convinced when when you are very technical in terms of uh, uh, the information you give him, or where you are very detailed in terms of uh, uh, relating, you know, relevant information to him. And so, it's not too easy to 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 go. He's more detailed and then very expressive of his thoughts. And so I know he know the, he knows the stage. He knows what brings what comes out. And you saw him do that with the with the A national team when, when uh, he he was on the bench and then uh, and then he comes on from the bench and then he makes a difference. Every professional has the opportunity to succeed in every environment. It is all about about how strong you are mentally, how, how you are able to integrate it and adapt. And his development has come up from this moment. He's 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 a well he's a continuously been educated a person. He's been educated in terms of how he needs to understand his uh, his, his his physical person. His uh, quickness also has given him a lot of things to learn around his his own frame, in terms of uh, how he has to consistently uh, support himself in terms of uh, his physical well being. And then technically, he's been well 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 transited into into different phases of play. And then, and then, and then the game, and so I think that he he appreciates these aspects, and then and then he will be well managed by 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 respective coaches, you know, in different phases of the game. And then you saw what he did in the game against Uruguay when when he could see defensive spaces and then be able to 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 do a good defensive recovery into that into that that moment. And 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 very few players can see these aspects. Well, in the Ghana Premier League, Hatta Folk were held to a goalless draw by a 10-man Ligon Cities at the Craft Sports Stadium. Now, the Philbians failed to convert all chances that came their way, leaving their coach, Lafko Matic, criticising the mentality of his players and insisting that his side did not deserve any point from the game. Beida. Asante Yeboata, Linda Mtange, Apia is doing the run, it's a good ball to Clinton Apia, and Jashi Bote brings him down, he gets a red card for this, no questions about that, it's a red card. Bringing down Clinton Apia, he had gone past him but maybe a bit of acceleration, he could have caught up with Clinton but this clearly won't go unpunished. Good ball looking for Asso. He's got Abdul Rahman behind him. He gets to Rahman. Ampedu calls for it. But it's Michel Otto. He shoots with his left. Chest over for a low kick. Asante Yeboa. Benjamin York. Eok Esubantin for Hatsabok. Here is Esubantin with a shot across. Glorious chance, Esubantin just unable to make it count. But it is, it's a brilliant effort from Esubantin. He was denied by the woodwork. 11 minutes of additional time. Ai. Ai gives possession to Ali Du. And he saves the situation. It's still not out of danger. Here is Ali Du. Again, it's Rishmon Ai. He's made up for his mistakes, Richmond Ai. 
Alido has Aqua on his right. He hangs on to possession. He finds Aqua. Aqua with a cross in. And Abdul Rahman nearly scoring for Legon Cities. And that's it. Hasabok have drawn. What I say, mentality. They must change some things fast. What is the pressure? How you play against pressure? Pressure is what you think. If your thought is that you think about pressure, you will feel that. Do you think they are adapting to your strategy of that all attacking approach? Because in the game you switched to a three back, you still didn't find no, the back of, course, of the net. No, of course, you want to score. You want to score, we change a lot of that. Sometimes it's a problem when you change a lot of that. Like we change from 4-2-3-1, 4-3-3 on the end. We come in diamonds, start second half. We want to win, we must change one defender. When you have all there, patience. Patience, responsibility. We didn't have that. Uh, we lose two points, but uh, we didn't deserve the two points. I must be honest. I must be honest. Hasavoy didn't deserve the two the point. No. Interesting one there. But well, to some other result where Bechem United trashed Real Tamil United by six goals to two. And Ken Faisal lost to Medieval SC by three goals to two. Then Dreams FC also were losers against the Diana Stars and Kotoku Royals also coming back, uh, beating Bibiani Gold Stars by three goals to two there. Tomorrow there's going to be game. Uh, Kumasiya Santikota will be in action there tomorrow. We'll bring you up to speed on that. Yes. But how we wrap up Prime Sports tonight with me, Razak Musbao. And uh, of course, you can follow us on all our social media handles and also head to myjoonline.com forward slash sports because there's so much more there. Up next is PM Express with Evans Mensah.